All right, so a new original character came out. Her name is Easton, and she is actually a very solid unit. I do recommend summoning on her banner. Uh, she's guaranteed the tenth step, the tenth step, tenth step. And if you do have the gems to summon for the tenth step, uh, or maybe if you pull her before you stop, but I do recommend pulling for her because she is the only a blue support type unit in the game that you can get right now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so she's very, very good. Now, what does she do? So her attack card is 150, 180, 300, and the level 23 gives her an alt gauge and two alt gauge and it's in the AoE card. Same card as Red F Fat King or Green Derriere, if you want a point of reference. Uh, her other card is the same card that Green Halbrum has, where she boosts attack-related stats by 15, 20, and 30% of all allies. That, this card is really good. Now, here's the thing, right? I think Green Halbrum was the only unit in the game that had this. Before she came... I'm looking at uh, Grand Cross database. They have a filter where you can see uh, skills. Yeah, Green Halbrum was the only unit in the game that had this card. Now, we finally have a new one, and she is another type, so she's actually really good to have. Her ult is the same ult as, um, what's it called, Gustav has, is not that good, but it inflicts Spike, which is a uh, times 2 crit damage, and equals 250% as a level 1, and then, it, of course, the damage goes up the more ult level she has. Nothing crazy, not, not meant to do damage, she is a support unit, and support units are very helpful in this game. And her unique is really good, it increases her basic stats by 5% for each buff on allies, um, and it has a limit of 5, so she can boost herself by up to 25% basic stats, and that's really good because as a support type unit, you know, she needs to, you know, tank a little bit. So, uh, I have her at 60, and usually I do always do my showcases at 80, because I feel like you need to get the unit to 80, but she's a support, support type unit, you know, and here's, here's my, here's another issue, right? Here's a big issue I'm having right here. Uh, if I go in my inventory, um, <laughs> yeah. I went kind of nuts leveling up units recently, <laughs> and I didn't realize I was running out of pendants. So, um, yeah, don't mind that. But it's fine. She's a support type unit. She's not made to do damage. Um, I will go in the stage right now and see a little bit of the damage that she can do. But to be honest, her biggest use from now on will be um, Red Demon Hell. So, Red Demon Hell always is so goddamn annoying because it's so freaking long. But, now we finally have a blue type support unit that's actually good. I mean, Elaine, she is okay. If you don't know, there is a Halloween Elaine that is a support type blue unit. But, she is the same as Gil Thunder where she boosts um, regular attack. And, not everyone's gonna have that one because she's, she's a very exclusive unit. But, this girl is recent. You can just pull her if you can. And, you know, she, she's really good. She's really, really good. I do recommend pulling for her just being a support type unit and everything. And also, an, a, another good thing, which I will also um, show in this video, is that she has a type advantage over the guild boss. So Halbrum used to have type disadvantage against the guild, the guild boss, which was, you know, incredibly annoying. But now, this, you have someone that has type advantage in support unit. That's much, much better. Uh, I would love to not kill the, these people. I guess I can... Uh, Kill King right here. I need one more go for rank up, and I'll be okay. Just need one more go for rank up, and I'll be okay. Oop! He may go for rank up. I might have to restart. Restart because I do want to do AOE damage. Uh oh! I. Uh, it's kind of fine. Okay, okay, okay. I can go with this. Um. I will need a, a level one go for still though. <laughs> I can go with this. So if I rank up, right? If I rank up and use Guild Fund as level 3, I know we'll have another level 3 of her next turn. I just need another go for rank up and I can get level 3 attack. That's all, that's all I want. And then I'll move on to what she's actually good for. I just want to see a little bit of damage. Oh, that... Okay. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna use her boost and then make a level 3 and do her level 3. That's all I want. I just want to see a little bit of damage that she can do. And that was it. And also... If Guild Fund doesn't die... Okay, buddy. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I will be maxing out her passive because it's gonna be five boosts in total. Yeah, perfect. It's gonna be two th like these and then three with her own. That's perfect. So let me see her AoE damage. Actually, oh, I wanted to see her ultimate, but the ultimate doesn't do that much damage. 
How much was that? 583,000. Yeah, the, oh, the, um, the stat boosts are really good. Actually, let me check how much stats she has once she maxes out her passive. As a level 60 and everything. Alright, let's see how much she has. Uh, keep in mind, her attacks that will, will be, like, heavily inflated by the, uh, the attack boost. But 34k, 9.2k, 124k HP. That's the, that's the one I really was looking for. Because Helbrum has, de like, very low HP. So even if just attack boost, she can get to, like, 124k, level 60, man. And then uh, penetration 64% because of her thing. Alright, uh, okay, let me take her own raids, and now th this is where she will actually shine. Okay, this is actually pretty perfect. The person that joined me has um, Elaine, which is the other blue support unit. So this is actually the perfect run for me, because I can use both support units and just completely wipe the floor with them. That's really, really good. Again, now that blue has two support units, it's really nice. Red now is the element that needs support units. I wish Mono was a support unit. I mean, maybe releasing two support units at the same time would be weird, but... Um, Mono could have been in a red support unit, and if red gets an attack related stat support, that's gonna be so huge. But yeah, um, I don't know if I should boost right now. If he does it, I'll do it. I don't think he is. Yeah, I, 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 it's not worth it. Um, gonna wait a few turns, and then I'll use my blue card. Maybe wait if I can see an, uh, if I can see if I can get another blue card, but it's fine. So, uh, yeah, with uh, both her and the lane boosting, my units are gonna do so much damage, especially. Especially Slater, because here's the thing, Slater, he kind of um, undergoes the uh, the crit damage, and the attack related stats buff also boosts crit damage, so that's going to be really, really good. Alright, I want to see how much they'll, they'll hit with the support. I'm going to... I'll put it next turn. So let me uh, let me warn him that I'm putting him... Uh, <laughs> I have a your trash. I'm going to strengthen up. I'm going to use the support buff, just so he, uh, he also uses it if he wants to. All right, boop, let me see if he does as well, no, okay, I guess I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll just attack, it's fine, <laughs> it's fine, uh, maybe he's waiting for um, a level 2 uh, thingy, but it's alright. Slayer now with the attack boost as well, let's see how much he hits for, oh, but they, the demon has a defense buff though, yeah, couldn't really see because the demon had, had a defense buff. But, I mean, it wasn't the, the strongest defense buff, but it was anyway, so you, you couldn't see that as much, but it's fine. Um, he's hitting harder. <laughs> no matter why, he's hitting harder, harder. And there was no other real option for this before her, to be honest. Like, yeah, you can use, um, I don't know, I guess Blue Jericho if you have her. Uh, Blue DML is alright. There were no, no many options. Like, you'd have to use Bond. Um, and Slater. Like, th this guy is using King. King is okay. Yeah, he's using 70k, that's pretty nice. King is okay, but like... The Petrify only, only happens once or twice, you know? Because you need a level 2 card, and you have to keep getting level 2 cards. But it's not... It's not the most necessary to use uh, King. Alright, let me attack boost. Let me see if he also attack boost first. Uh, Attack boost, my guy. Come on. You yes! Nice, okay. We might wipe the floor with this demon right now. Let's see how much they're... These are level 1s, because again, Red Demon, um, because you can't use Gopher, it's very hard to get a, um, a level 3 boost, or even a level 2. I could have got a level 2 boost, to be fair, but I wanted to save. I wanted to save just in case. Just in case I run now. You can get a level 2 boost, but level 3 boost is, like, almost impossible. Oh, yeah, just... One turn them, pretty nice. Almost 400k ult with Slater. Again, support support type units are always good. Buffing is always good. If I can get, yeah, <laughs> even said the emote. Um, no, but my bond is gonna do insane damage. And then I'll let her do it as well. My bond is gonna do insane damage right now, because he his his attack boosted by both supports and he's stealing. Let's see how much damage he does. Level 1, 160k, yeah. Man, if I had a level 3 card, he would have done like 300k with a level 3 card. It's alright. Again, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this unit. I mean, she has the same... Of course I'm happy with her. She has a skill that Halbrum has, which is like a really good skill, right? 
Yeah. Her ult hit decently hard. For a support type, that ult hit pretty hard. Oh, let me see if I can do this before uh, before he moves. Because uh, this, will, this will actually hit decently hard. This is going to kill him. Uh, oh, that's going to kill. Let me see his bond with the support type. Uh, with the support boost. Oh, his bond is actually pretty weak. Okay. 116k. Oh, the support ran out. It's alright, but you saw the difference, like a level 1 did 160k, a level 2 without the boost did like 116k, which of course, level 2 has much more boost, right? Um, okay, so let me uh, uh, let me go on guild boss. So guild boss is the only other activity. Of course, you could do the same thing with Halberd with the guild boss, but because the guild boss is red, I feel like now with a blue type unit, it's so much easier because it's, it's so much less of a chance of her dying, you know? So yeah, let me go there and I'll be right back. Usually I show the run right at the end. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll actually show the whole run on guild boss, or at least I'll show the the run that I do it because guild boss is man It's it's so much RNG like literally it could take one or a hundred runs for you to get what you want <laughs> It literally can like this week. I got very lucky when I went to do my first uh, runs of guild boss for the week I got like 4,000 points in one try each each um, fight right uh, Man usually it's it's not as easy. Okay, so let me go attacking with Jericho so I can build up her passive. And again, um, Jericho is actually the only unit here that can actually like really get stopped. This is hard. Um, this, I chose hard because it's actually my weakest points right now in the week. So I was like, oh, I might as well. Um, yeah, Jericho right now is the uh, the one person to take, yeah, taking damage. Before it was Halberd. Before it was like Halberd would just get completely annihilated sometimes. Now it's Jericho. <laughs> uh, poop, poop. Oh, he doesn't have any attacks for me to attack you, but it's fine. He should get lucky. I need, I need rank ups. That's all I need. I just need rank ups. If the game can give me rank ups, I'll be fine. Come on. A rank up. That's good. Uh, but he's gonna kill Jericho because he's completely focusing on Jericho. Look at that. Alright, reset time. Okay, remember when I said that I was gonna do it on hard? Uh, change of plans because Jericho kept dying. <laughs> So, um, had to change it to normal, <laughs> but it's fine. Attack boost, boom. Like, she wasn't giving me any trouble at all on hard, but Jericho just kept dying. Like, I think I should have actually planned more and done it on, um, I should have done it on, with uh, Derriere. I just wanted to bring Jericho because Jericho is also on global and she's like really, really good, really stupid for this. Alright, I want to refreeze, alt, and then that's it, because she's gonna do like, a million damage, three, two million damage. Crit. 1.9. Yeah, pretty decent. Yeah. Attack boosting is pretty good. Support units are pretty good. Yeah, support support units are a little good. Because Jericho without the support unit, nah, she, she wouldn't be hitting that hard. 